not too cold, not too hot. It's been just right, and it's going to be another one of those days. Actually, this was a look at the sunset last night from Mount Olympus, and I love this view. Chad Kerr sent it in, not just because the sunset looks so beautiful, but you kind of get this close-up look of some of those leaves that are changing right here in the foreground. It's marvelous. So great day to get outside if you want to go check out the leaves. And down at Zion National Park, same goes for you. Blue skies and sunshine. We're in the upper 60s in Salt Lake City. Uh, lots of sunshine. It feels like the upper 60s. And you can see across the Wasatch Front temperatures that are just really pleasant as we're diving into the afternoon. You're in the mid 60s in Park City, 61 in Evanston. Uh, you can see 62 over in Provo, 64 in Twilla, and down in St. George, 73 on the board. Low 70s in the southeast corner of Utah, right over there in Blanding with lots of sunshine all across the board right now. But let's talk about kind of the big weather story right now. So big high pressure. It's stubborn right now. It's off the coast of the Pacific Northwest. A trough of low pressure, a storm that's hovered over the coast of Southern California. California and because of these systems where they're centered and where they're positioned, it blocks that high pressure is going to block any shower storms from making their way into Utah. But take a look at this track over the next several days. By the end of the weekend, those systems are going to make that trek eastward. And as they do so, that's going to give that low pressure system the opportunity to graze southern Utah. And that's going to help us get some showers and storms or at least the possibility for that in southern Utah by the end of the weekend. So Sunday night into Monday is really what we're going to be watching today in Salt Lake City. Another glorious day, nothing but sunshine, light breeze coming from the northwest. We're reaching the mid 70s. I mean, another one of those days, open up the windows, get some of that fresh air in there. Uh, upper 60s in Evanston, mid 60s in Park City, 86 in St. George. In St. George, you keep warming up over the next couple days, nearing 90 by Friday. A um, beautiful weekend in store for you. So um, if you want to get down to southern Utah, do some hiking, parks, recreation areas, look good, no concerns for flash flooding. That could change Sunday night into Monday. Northern Utah, let's take a look at our super seven day forecast. So even though we got those gusty winds yesterday, the cold front passed through, some of those winds are going to kick back into gear this afternoon, and that's specifically up in the Uintas. Winds between 25 to 30 miles per hour kicking up up in the mountains, down through Castle Country. That'll die down this evening. We're going to drop down to the low 50s overnight, and I know that feels a bit cooler than it has been the past couple mornings, but get this. Typically, this time of the year, our average low is the mid 40s, so 50 is actually warm for us in the early morning. So let's enjoy it while we have it. You can see as we get ready to dive into your weekend, I mean, we've got, we've got some good football games going on this upcoming weekend, and it's going to be great weather for that mid to upper 70s for your Saturday and for your Sunday. And by the time we get to Monday, we're going to drop down to the mid 70s, which is not a big drop, Max, but it's a drop. It is a drop, and and you know it it yes. was chilly this morning. I was outside right? pretty early, and it was it was different. I had long you sleeves on, and it. It was still still. I actually um, uh, transitioned from my cardigan to a let's say step one jacket. Step one jacket. I'm going to okay. call it a step one jacket. Not too warm of a jacket. It's a Defcon I... one jacket. <laughs> That's exactly right, okay. Max. That's what you're going to need tomorrow morning, too. Thanks. All right. <laughs> Thanks.